Hello Sabre Collectors. This is going to be the first video I've done for the year 2023. Today we're doing a comparison of scaled lightsaber replicas from Master Replica and from Larbell Plasma Blade. Now Larbell Plasma Blade was a Taiwanese company that produced replicas from the prequel trilogies and I was lucky enough to go ahead and get a set of 0.5 scaled prototypes that he was thinking of doing. Seven sabers in total and we're going to go over the size differences and the construction differences of both of those manufacturers. If you have any questions, uh, post them down in the comments. And here we go. Start off, we're going to go ahead and take a look at four of the Larbell Plasma Blade 0.5 scale replicas. These did not have a corresponding Master Replica edition made. So um, we'll go ahead and start with these and then take out the other three. These were a set of six that I had gotten off of eBay. I had done uh, some work for Larbell. Uh, some graphics for his website and he had let me know that he had put some of these uh, prototypes that he was thinking about going into production and he put these on eBay and I snatched them up real quick. I think they were going for about 400 at the time. Later on he produced a couple of the Obi-Wan Kenobi Phantom Menace editions, one in stainless steel and one in brushed aluminum. And I picked up one of those, got that directly from him. I also own a Obi-Wan Kenobi Phantom Menace full-scale edition and a Darth Maul full-scale edition lightsaber set. So we're going to take a look at these. This is the the first one we have here is the Kia di Mundi saber or Ela Sakura if you're a fan of her over Kia di. It's got uh, very nice details, brass buttons here, knurled knob here, the small cover tech. You can see that unlike Master Replica Editions, it does have an opening for where the uh, saber blade would come out of. Small control box. There's the pommel. It does break down into a few different parts. I won't go ahead and do that today. This is the Barisofi clan type lightsaber. You can see uh, it has similar buttons that uh, or knobs that uh, the Kia di Mundi has. Very nice detail on the pommel here. Uh, very nice brass accent here at the emitter. You can see it breaks down. I'll break this one down just to show you. That yes, it does. They are separate pieces. And now to get this back together. course it's going to be difficult. Let 
Next is the Kit Fisto. You see the knobs are smaller to match the saber. Uh, scale. Again, that open emitter. The detail pommel, the nice little knobs at the end. It does not have the little accents of the black that would be near the pommel of this. And I think there was actually a couple of black accents toward the front, but I'm not sure. And this one is the Eth Koth edition, as he stated it was. Uh, many people have said that this is the saber that Mace Windu had at the Phantom, Ventus, Phantom, Phantom Menace. Um, but I have a full-scale replica of this that I got off of eBay somewhere. And I'm going to go with that because I like Eth Koth. See the red curtain neural knob here, black accent there. Uh, it does have some nice uh, painted spaces in the emitter and or at the uh, pommel rather and you can see the detail on the pommel itself now as you can see i have a couple of the scale um, markers that they would use say at a csi crime scene for those uh, using millimeters there's the one that has the centimeters and millimeters on it and on the left is one in inches. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the other three sabers. A comparison to uh, the Master Replica editions. Now we'll compare the three Master Replica 0.45 scale editions to the Larbell Plasma Blade 0.5 scale editions. As you can see, we have Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber, followed by Obi-Wan Kenobi's, and lastly, Darth Maul's double-bladed lightsaber. You can see right off the bat that the Master Replicas are, of course, 10% smaller in scale. And the materials used are a little bit different. If we take a look at uh, first the Qui-Gon Master Replicas, you can see that the shroud on the bottom is dulled brushed aluminum. The emitter is closed off as it was for the heroes that they used uh, for close-up shots during the movie. And it does have the small red knurled knob on it. If we take a look at the Larbell Plasma Blade, you can see the difference. The open emitter on the end, buttons larger. We do have a silver ring underneath the emitter, or underneath the activation switch, rather. Uh, difference on the grips themselves. The Master Replica, of course, has the correct grip, a little curved, whereas the Larbell edition has to straight cut grips. Both have small cover techs. Uh, the openings on the bottom are similar as far as uh, size and, and number. Overall, very nice on both of them. The Master Replicas edition, for those that don't have it or haven't seen it, is from the 2007 Collector Society Edition. You had to be a member of the club to go ahead and receive this. 
uh, comes with a pin and a little bit of a uh, blurb as to uh, what the society was about. And now we'll move on to the Kenobi. This is the Master Replicas. Compared to a lot of the other sabers, it is heavier. As you can see, very nice detail in the pommel. No openings on the small squares on the pommel. A little uh, muted uh, color underneath the grip as compared to the chromed finish for most of the body. Again, closed emitter. Gold, what people have said is a pressure relief valve. Again, there's the nice cover tech with the screw in it. And if we look at the Larbell edition, a lot lighter. Again, it is muted underneath the grip itself. Um, the release valve is knurled on this one as opposed to smooth on that. Emitter is open on this one. Uh, buttons are about the same construction, not uh, no additional pieces underneath that. The knobs here toward the emitter, this one has more of a correct addition has that divot in it, in all three of them. Whereas in the Master Replicas, they went ahead and sealed it off. And of course, at the pommel on the Larbell edition, it does have the holes. You can see the difference on the construction of the pommel itself. A more flat black edition on the Larbell compared to a little bit of a glossier say semi-gloss finish for the master replicas both very nice representations and lastly we have the Darth Maul sabers the master replicas edition is a darker Edition of aluminum. You can see the difference as far as the coloration and the tech and the uh, texture on it. Uh, the Master Replicas does have a clear LEDs in the bezels on these ones. Um, at some point, I'm going to have to get some O rings to go ahead and make this a little bit more correct. As far as the representation, of course, go ahead and paint the emitters or black in the open spaces. But for right now, I decided to leave it the way that I had received it. Uh, you can see the we do have the red knurled uh, buttons on both the Larbell and the Master Replicas are knurled. On the Master Replicas, it does have grooves on the outside of the lighter colored buttons, whereas on the Larbell it's smooth. The Larbell does not have any um, clear LEDs on the, uh, the bezels, and they're a little bit different. Uh, both only have a single cover tech wheel on the, uh, on the Sabre at one point. The emitters, a bit of an open space on the Master Replicas, where it is on the uh, Larbell, it's a lot open, a lot more open. Uh, we do have a little bit of coloration here on the squares in between the buttons. And of course, on the bottom of the Master Replicas, you do have the 
information. The veins on the larbell are a little bit more uh, dramatic as far as the change in direction, whereas on the master replicas they are a lot smoother. Very nice. I also have the half piece of the Master Replica Edition Darth Maul, but since I had the full staff, I decided to go ahead and just show off that. Now, the Master Replica Darth Maul Edition was another Collector Society edition, and that was the 2005 edition came with a patch, membership card, stand, of course some information here at the top, and this nice box, and there is the top of the box and it came in a slipcase. The only Collector Society edition that I did not get, or I've not gotten yet, I should say, is the Mace Windu edition. Now, the Mace Windu compared to the regular Mace Windu edition is... Uh, the colors on the chromed parts are a little bit different. It's a more matte finish, similar to the Master Replica uh, Qui-Gon, compared to the regular edition, which is more of the uh, chromed edition. So, hopefully, you enjoyed taking a look at some of my collectibles. Um, I'll probably do some more on some of the other replicas I have. And hopefully we'll be doing new videos on a more regular basis. You guys have a great weekend. And... We'll see you next time.